The wait is over. Ubuntu 1804 LTS is here. The latest long-term support release of Ubuntu from Canonical is packed full of changes and will receive updates until 2023. Naturally, I couldn't resist grabbing an installer for myself, shoving it on the nearest available laptop and booting up to see the changes at hand. Installing Ubuntu is still as easy as ever, but do look out for the new minimal install option. This lets you install the same OS, but with fewer apps pre-installed. A new release and a new desktop. Ubuntu 18.04 uses the GNOME Shell desktop by default. On the left is the Ubuntu dock used for launching and switching between apps. At the bottom of this is the app button. Press this to call up a full screen search friendly app launcher. Here you can find apps by name or filter selections based on those you use the most often. The bar running along the top of the screen houses basic app menus. There's a combined clock, calendar and notification center, which is awesome if you tend to miss notifications often. And there is of course a system tray with status menu. A new first run wizard greets users new and old. This walks through enabling reboot free kernel updates via the Canonical's live patch service, opting to help improve Ubuntu by sharing anonymous system data, and there's some promo for Snap Apps. To manage your running and open application windows, hit the activities label in the upper left hand side of the screen. From here, you can manage apps, launch apps, and manage workspaces. Ubuntu 18.04 features the latest versions of your favorite apps, including Firefox, LibreOffice, and more. A new to-do app also features. It's a little on the basic side, but it certainly gets the job done. If you often use the expressive little glyphs known as emoji, you'll be pleased to know that you can now quickly enter them using a new emoji picker. Ubuntu comes with a bunch of software pre-installed, but you can find even more apps using Ubuntu software. As well as all of the software that's available in the Ubuntu repositories, you also have access to the Snap Store. Here you can install from hundreds of well-known apps like Spotify, Skype and VLC. Managing your system is also easier thanks to the redesigned Settings app. Here you can find a host of options for all sorts of things. One of my favorite features is accessible from the display menu. It's called Nightlight, and what it does is it reduces the amount of blue light your display emits. This, according to science, can help improve your sleep patterns. There's also a new login screen. It's visually more impressive than the last one, and it can display notifications. Finally, if you love Ubuntu but wish it looked a little bit more modern, your prayers have been answered. Install the community theme snap from Ubuntu software and then log into the community theme session and you'll get to experience next gen Ubuntu. It's dark, it's delicious, and it is arguably the best that Ubuntu has ever looked. So if you've been itching to give Linux a go, then Ubuntu 18.04 is the perfect release to start with. And the best bit, it's absolutely free.